Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fati and I usually create travel videos. But today's video is slightly different and today I'm going to share with you my story of quitting my job. This topic seems to be burning. It's very hot right now. Thanks to Clubhouse, in the past five days alone, I have come across more than 10 people who have either quit their job already or are seriously considering quitting their job. Which made me realize that now it's been three years that I quit my job. And lucky for me, I've been able to have a steady source of income since then. But I've never actually shared my story, ki why exactly I quit my job, how I went about it, and how my journey has been. So in today's video, we are going to do that. This video is divided into three parts. The first part is why I quit my job. Second is how I did it, the process. Third is if I regret it. Quitting your job is a very personal, sometimes uncomfortable and sensitive. And this video is based on my experience. I'm definitely not trying to tell you if you should quit your job or not quit your job. But I'm just sharing my experience. So please take everything that I say or anybody say on this topic with a pinch of salt. But having said that, I really hope that this video helps you to see a different perspective. And if you're on the fence about quitting your job, then I hope that after watching this video, you can take a more informed decision. I studied BA LLB, which is an integrated law course. It's a five years course. After that, I also did my master's, which is basically a one year course. So I spent six years doing this professional course. And after that, I worked for almost two years as a corporate lawyer. I was practicing mergers and acquisition. Now, if you don't know about corporate law, it is a very, very demanding profession. And it is one of the most well-paying professions in the world, but also extremely demanding. Working hours are absolutely bonkers. In my office, the working hours were from 9.30 to 7.30 on papers. In reality, it used to extend till 8, 9 easily. And on most days, 10, 11, 12. So definitely the working hours were a little bonkers. My number one reason was time. I felt like I had absolutely no control over my time and therefore my life. Now, if you're someone who's ever been employed, you can probably relate. Even though they say that, you know, uh, the office hours are from 9 to 5, it's not really like you're doing some actual work from 9 to 5. A lot of your time is just wasted in some frivolous meetings or something that you can totally avoid and I was not very happy with it. My second reason was my relationship with Amod and my personal life. Now when I was working in that office, I was dating Amod. By the way, if you're new to this channel, Amod is my husband and my then boyfriend. As it is, it was a long distance relationship and because of my inhumanly working hours, it was very difficult for us to catch up, meet when he's on leave. There have been times when Amod used to travel for like 10 hours just to meet me for an hour. So sweet of him. Another key deciding factor for me was Amod's job. It required him to move every two, three years. And if I had a future with him, I either had to move with him every two, three years or would have had to be in a long distance relationship for a really, really long time which actually I was okay with but since I was quitting my job I wanted to give the online space a shot and see if it actually works for me because that way I could have my career and also live with Amod. So this was one of the main reasons why I went into the online space. Now coming to my third reason and that is health. Here's where we get very personal. Now you don't judge me okay. So back in college I was a chubby kid. And in 2014, in my fourth year of law, I got into fitness. I started working out, I started eating very clean, and I lost a bunch of weight. Now, having done that, fitness was very important to me. But because of my working hours, I really had very little time left for myself. I used to go to the gym and all, but it was not really happening to the extent that I would like. So that was also one of the reasons. Coming to my fourth reason, and this is probably the most surprising of them all. I loved my job. Now you would say that that is exactly a reason why you should not quit your job. But hear me out. My job was seeping into every aspect of my life, whether it be my health, my overall well-being, my relationship with Amod, my parents, my friends, my social life in a negative way. And I knew that. Despite all that, I loved the hustle. I loved the rut. And uh, that kind of freaked me. 
because I realized that my experience would only become my cage. Think about it in a way like, you know, who do you think has more skin in the game? A person with two years of experience or a person with 12 years of experience? And for who do you think it would be more difficult to leave everything behind and just start over? Your experience sometimes becomes a cage and a burden which limits you from doing what you want to do. I thought that it was a good idea to just take some risk and see if I can work around something else which would benefit other aspects of my life as well. Coming to my fifth and probably the most obvious reason, my love for travel. In fact, because of all these four reasons, I was already subconsciously contemplating if I should quit my job and look for another job. But the nail in the coffin was a cancelled trip to Bhutan. Trip, my trips used to get cancelled left, right and it used to happen so often. But when my trip to Bhutan got cancelled for some last minute emergency, that was just my trigger. I was done. It was my tipping point where I said I just cannot do it. Hence, I put my papers. Actually, I sent a mail and I quit my job. <laughs> Now, quitting a job is definitely not easy. It is one of the most difficult things to do and you need to plan for it, how you're going to financially sustain yourself, your backup, your plan B, how you're going to convince yourself and your parents. Now, in my case, I did not do any extensive planning, but I did have a process. Back in 2017, when I quit my job, I already had a YouTube channel, not this channel, a different channel, with over 13,000 subscribers. That channel was making me some money here and there, definitely not enough to completely depend on, but it was a good place to start with. I also had a little bit of savings, um, to be precise, five lakhs, and I gave myself the time of six months. Now with that five lakhs, I also had to buy a laptop because you need a system in place and a laptop was definitely a necessity. Now I, with my bank balance, I did not settle for anything less than a MacBook Pro. I invested in a MacBook Pro, which costed me around 1 lakh 10,000 rupees. And I also really badly wanted to go to Thailand, basically go anywhere because I was working for two years without a break. I really needed it and spent some money on that. So I was kind of left with only three and a half lakhs. And uh, I gave myself the time of six months. In those six months, I had to figure out what I wanted to do in the online space. So I gave myself that time and my plan was if things work out in the online space, good for me. Otherwise, I was planning to go back to the legal sector. Definitely look for a more relaxed, more balanced job. But that was my plan. So I quit my job in uh, Chennai and I moved with my parents. Now here, my self-respect or my ego or I don't know what to say, but I was paying my parents rent. This is something I don't think a lot of people do. But when I moved back with them, I really did not want to think uh, that, you know, I was taking the easy way in life. So I was paying my parents some amount of money, like 7,000 rupees a month. And not only that, I was paying for a co-working space because I did not want to work out of my parents' house. So yeah, probably this was just my way to keep myself accountable and to keep a tab. But uh, that's what I did. I'm not saying that you should be doing it. It is just an expense that you can definitely cut down on, especially when you have such a low budget and you're not making any money as such. As soon as I quit my job, I started working on things that I could do online or online business. I did not limit myself to just YouTube. I wanted to see what other things are out there in the market. And I figured out a bunch of things and a lot of things actually work pretty well for me. Now coming to the bright side, just after two months of quitting my job, I got a long-term client. Now this client had already worked with me on a previous project for my YouTube channel. And now based on my corporate experience and my experience in the digital media, they wanted to work with me long term. My scope of work with them increased dramatically over the years, which means more stable income. Since then, I've had many opportunities to work with many, many clients. So luckily, within six months of me quitting my job, I was able to break even. So I continued doing whatever I was doing. Now, how I make my money is a separate topic altogether. If you want me to make a video on it, I would be very happy to do it. Over the years, I've learned a lot of things, but if you ask me to give you three quick tips, number one would be networking. In a conventional job, networking automatically happens because you're provided with the opportunity to network with people 
But in online space, you have to be a go-getter. But networking is super important. In fact, I would tell you that a lot of work, paid work that's come my way has come because I knew somebody or someone's worked with me before and they've referred to a different client. My second tip would be to not put all your eggs in one basket especially if you're working in a field like YouTube, which is so unpredictable, diversify your income. Diversify in a way that your income is coming from different sources, preferably from different industries, so that even if one industry fails you at one point in time, you have something else to rely on. My third tip would be, please don't think quitting your job and working on your own is going to be easy. In fact, to tell you the truth, it is very difficult because now you don't have a boss to guide you. You have to teach yourself, unlearn, learn, unlearn, learn, learn new things and it is always going to be like that. You have to learn something or the other all the time. And because you are going to be working by yourself, you are the only person who is responsible for everything that's happening in your business. So that being said, you are also the boss of you. You have complete control over how you want to utilize your sign, which to me is absolutely precious. Do I regret it? Now, this is something that I get asked a lot and there are usually two sub questions in this. First is if I regret studying law. Second is if I regret quitting my job. In both the cases, my answer is a definite no. Now, about law as a subject, it taught me to analyze and to see things from different perspectives. There are a lot of things that college education teaches you and education is never a waste but law specifically as a subject has taught me many things that are so handy in life and about working in the law firm having a corporate experience has taught me so so much about running a business what i was practicing what was corporate law i wo i got to work with many many companies thanks to my boss i had a great mentor to teach me many many things and because i work with so many companies i got to know how things operate in the economy and that is something that i apply in my business even today and because i was working as a lawyer i know how to deal with contracts negotiation and a lot of aspects of business which I don't think I would have learned otherwise or would have been very, very difficult for me to learn. But here I've learned it from the best place that I could learn and I'm so grateful for my work experience. So that's me, that's my story. I hope that this video gives you some perspective. Let me know if you have any questions. I would love to answer it if I can help you in any way. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and consider subscribing if you're new here and if you enjoy travel content. I'll see you all soon. Till then, take care and bye-bye.